Hello, welcome back to more Painkiller Black Edition. And to start things off here, we're going to be changing things up a bit. As I see ahead that uh, we're in Chapter 4 right now. And, well, there is going to be a couple of issues that we're going to be coming across here pretty soon. But in order to negate that, I had to go ahead and download a few things to fix things up here. Now, if you noticed that throughout this whole game, this whole version is uh, 1.64. However, I downloaded an unofficial patch to 1.66, and that's to go ahead and clear up any kind of bugs that this potential the, that this game will have. And we'll see that in a couple uh, levels up ahead. I also went ahead and took the liberty of downloading a mod that gives me access to all levels, no matter what the difficulty is. Because if you guys know, in trauma difficulty, you have access to uh, the forest level, which is in chapter four, level four, located right here. And when you're a nightmare, you don't have that. And I do not want to go through all that trouble having to go to that level specifically on trauma. That means I have to do a separate save in order to do that. So I'd rather not waste time. So you're going to be seeing that in the next couple of videos. But with that out of the way, let's go to the palace, shall we? All right, so the objective for this one. We have to finish the level without any armor. Now, that's what I was alluding to uh, in the previous video, that something we have to skip out on in terms of collectibles, and that is armor. And I hate you guys. I hate those skeleton dudes, because, like, there's something about them that, whether you get hit by them or if you're just, like, near them, they get rid of your soul count. So I just call them a bunch of leechers. So you just have to go ahead and try and keep your distance. but they're easily susceptible to splash damage, so I like that. So it may not look like it, but it has been quite, um, been quite the eventful week that I've had. I mean, as I'm recording it now, I just got back home, but uh, of course I was on my yearly uh, convention run over in Baltimore, you know the one. I don't know why I'm being quite vague about it because, like, we all know the ones I keep, you know, the one I keep talking about, you know, pointy related shit. <laughs> I don't even know if anybody gives a crap about it, whether it being like you are interested or not. But, uh, something that I'm probably gonna be inevitably, like, gonna be encountering in my lifetime, and that is the end of a convention's life cycle. Because, believe it or not, at the closing ceremonies for this year, they announced that BronyCon 2019 is going to be its last year. Which is kind of hard to imagine because at first I thought that its run cycle was going to be like 2020 or 2025 or something like that. But apparently it's being cut short and I'm not entirely sure why. Because I think the only other convention that I know of that uses that venue um, is, um, Otakon, I think. There's always been, like, one instance where they kind of had a little bit of, uh, uh, a bit of a conflicting schedule one year. But, uh, nothing really else. Now, I'll be completely honest. With the, uh, um, with the interest, uh, being spoken of, I was starting to, like, die down in interest a little bit. And I was going to say to myself that, like, you know, like, this year is going to be the last year. Uh, but instead, next year is going to be my last year instead, because I, I feel, feel kind of guilty just having to end it off there. So it's like, you know, we're just going to have to wait it out. And I guess another reason why I wanted to go there next year is because... Well, you yeah, know, it's a better send-off in instead of this year, you know? Also, it gives you that kind of feeling of, like... You never know what you have until it's gone. You know? Taking things for granted. That was kind of the feeling that I was getting towards that send-off there. So, I'll definitely be look looking forward to it, and I'll see about having to try to make that next year extra special. 
Uh, but enough about that. Let's get right back into this stuff here. Got this here Arabian, Arabian Nights here. And we also got these here nice with these big ass shields. Kind of makes it hard trying to aim at them. They'll become more of a nuisance later, Ed, don't you worry. And there's already been like two instances of armor. One being the center display piece in that building. And one over there. <laughs> okay. Uh, dick move game. I didn't ask for this. Oh, shit. <laughs> that would have been, like, my moment to, like... But, oh, jeez. Here, let, let's see about luring them into these. Oh, I see. They don't explode right away. I'll just jump over your heads. It's all good. Alright, I'm gonna have to go off over here on the sides trying to find some more explosives. Or rather, shotgun shells will work too. Here, I'll go ahead and freeze you for now. Soul, please. Thanks. Oh, jeez. Hang on, let me grab this health here. This will help. Okay, he apparently did it for me. Oh, here, let's grab this. You know, I was looking for explosives, but I guess I'll get it through that then. This is just me awkwardly just going around in circles. So yeah, that whole convention experience is just like, you know, at first I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm pretty much done with this. But then it's like, at the end it's like, well, I guess I'm rejuvenated, I guess. <laughs> I'm not really sure how else to put it. Shoot directly at you, just fling over to the left. <laughs> okay. You know, apologies if this subject matter is not really your thing, but, you know, deal with it. I, I, I don't have to think what everybody else thinks. What can I say? I'm a nonconformist. <laughs> is that going to be a running joke of mine? Or is it like, eh, screw you, I'm just a nonconformist. Not doing what YouTube wants me to do? No, screw that, I'm a nonconformist. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll stop being a dick. I mean, in general, just conformity is just like an ugly thing anyways, right? Why is it that we have to, like, submit to everybody else's standards? Also, we're getting close to, uh... Demon mode, and I kind of don't want that. Especially not in this scenario. So we're gonna have to skip out a few things. We've actually been in this section for quite some time. Yes. Doesn't help that they all keep, like, being all scattered about. Uh oh Ah, Jesus Christ, don't do that. <laughs> this is stupid. I have to, like, stay away from all of this. Yeah, let's go ahead and bunny hop over here. I can't see you. It's gonna be really hard trying to aim at the hit, hit, hit box. There you go. 
Alright, looks like we nailed it. Oh, for fuck's sake, get out of here. Over here, dingus. Err. Here, we need to go up here anyways. There. Headshot. Really now? I kind of underestimated the amount of monsters here. Err. You know, I'm trying to keep my distance. Okay, there's like one more guy here, though. I think. Whatever, let me go and focus on the first secret. Which is kind of lackluster. It's just this. You know, I kind of expected a holy item here and not just gold. You know? Ow. Alright, where are you, where are you buddy? Where'd you go? That was a weak ass whistle, I'm sorry. <laughs> and now we just need to just wander around a bit. Or just wait for that to despawn, actually. Okay, here we go. Yeah, because now we can go ahead and over to this next section. Yeah, I'm not gonna get too sidetracked trying to get some gold here. Okay, this one's probably going to be a doozy, or, or interesting in the least, because that fountain's going to spew out meteors, <laughs> or fireballs. Okay, now we, let's go ahead and do this. Activate the fireworks! There you go. Should be a nice easy setup for that uh, fireball thing because they try to go to like where you used to be. And if you have a trail of enemies behind you, well, they'll fall victim to it. Off of me. There, I need some more of that. Ooh, pretty. You know, speaking of fireworks, there was this one instance when I was right at the convention. One of those nights. It was like during like one of those um, the Oriole, uh, the Baltimore Oriole games. You know, the baseball team. Apparently they won a game. And from what my sister told me that they're really bad. And apparently one victory was warranted that they started shooting off fireworks. I don't know if that happens at every game, but I don't know. I don't I don't watch baseball. The old America's favorite pastime. There. Q is a bit of shurikens. Oh, damn it, I forgot. They actually explode after a distance. That kind of stinks. That kind of does stink. You know, I'm wondering if that whole, like, soul leeching thing from those skeletons was actually a bug. Like, it would make sense if, if they hit you, that you lose one soul, but apparently if they, if you're within distance and they do some sort of weird thing, then yeah. You would still lose a soul anyways. I'm wondering if that fixed it. I don't know to what extent the bug fixes will do to, like, things like maps or enemies or things like that. Well, you, you'll see in a later video.
There's definitely a lot of them, but they're going, they're kind of like trickling in right now, which is kind of annoying me. I kind of want to blow them all up all at once. Well, let me just go ahead and grab this instead. Oh, okay, I forgot. <laughs> it's my right click that I have to use. Still not used to that. Because when I see like the big nozzle of a chain gun right in front of me, that makes me think that's the primary thing when it's not. It's the rockets. Ugh. Okay. Alright, uh, I suppose we'll go ahead and... Yeah, I guess go ahead and move on over to the next. Although I didn't explore the side areas. I should probably do that, even though I just hit the checkpoint. Also, this is probably going to be the closest thing we can be in to, like, relating to Surya Sam due to, like, you know, deserts and whatnot. Yeah, I'm going to take what I can get in terms of explosives, because we're, we're going to need explosives. Yeah, it's a whips. <laughs> Nah, I'll be fine. There's definitely a lot of side areas here, you know, kind of wanting me to waste time. Well, not really, because it's not really a waste of time if I'm getting something good out of it. Alright, now we can go ahead and Make our way. Ah, they're rising out of the things. Not anymore, they're not. Alright, arena time. Once again. All right, we're soon approaching another one of those uh, demon mode moments. Rockets are going to be your best bet to uh, taking care of these guys. Just shoot them at their feet. Shot him twice. Not really intended. All right, one more. There, you want to go ahead and shoot those uh, pillars over here, but in each corner. They actually do explode into coins, so you want to go ahead and grab those. Looks like there wasn't much in terms of enemies afterwards. Hmm. Well, in any case, let's see if we can find some more ammo things. All right, there's that other armor, so that makes three. If you still want to go for a completion, go ahead, but you're probably gonna have to do that like on a second visit after you grab the tarot card. That one's a chest. Despite it being open, you can break it. Still get the stuffs. Alright, in just a moment, we're gonna get ourselves our next secret. Alright, looks like we're good here. Alright, so you probably noticed this here golden ladder. Let's see about. Getting up here. Pretty much 
go around, whoops. Alright, this might look difficult, but really it isn't. You just need to get around to here. There you go. Now tuck yourself in, and then jump forward. You should have enough momentum to do that. Then onto this roof. Then onto this pillar. There you go. So they're, they're, they're giving you plenty of health options to uh, make up for, like, you know, no armor. Alright, I think those, uh, yep, there they are. Should probably use that lightning. May not be such a bad idea. Because they are kind of fast. It's strange that they just stand around until you get close to them. Not quite the enemy behavior I was expecting. Might as well nab it. Alright, so this here is going to be a place where you're most likely going to be using up your cards. But you could easily get overwhelmed. Ah, screw it. I mean, you can try to sidestep it to shoot, but, you know, just freeze it and just deal with the consequences afterwards. <laughs> Frickin'! Oh, Jesus. Let's not get too excited here. <laughs> At least not yet. Jeez. Okay, I think that was a rare instance where I shot that frozen shot and it also killed him. There goes that other pillar. Uh. All right, minigun, of course. Ouch. Oh. Watch it. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? There's still more. <laughs> I believe there's some sort of button combination with the shuriken thrower that you can use in order to, like, nuke enemies really quickly, but he uses up a lot of your electro charge, or whatever it's called. Alright, so the only remaining enemies, I think they're just over here on top, and you just need to try to snipe them out. Provided they're in a favorable spot. There you go. Thank you. All right, now let's see about having to uh, get this next secret here, because it's kind of you have to do it based on momentum, like this. Oh, oh. oh yeah, so we have ourselves a jump pad. We need to make sure we go fast enough so we can go past this. No, through here. No, you just, you just kind of have to lightly brush up against it while you're at full bunny hop speed, like this. Except not through there. Not sure like which Well you gotta do it through. What which I'm maybe that. 
Hey, there you go. Alright. Alright, goodness that barrel didn't blow up. Well, that's quick save, because you never know. There you go. And we just have to jump over here to this here... Gold, that's the little center display piece during that whole fight. <laughs> Alright, now we can proceed on inside. Complete with stuffs. Looks like we got ourselves a quad. Or whatever this is. I mean, it makes a sound every time you shoot. It sounds like that, doesn't it? I'm not crazy or anything. I mean, I one-shot those saber dudes anyways. Now we just need to get them in a good, a good position, and boom. Boom again. I kind of don't want to use my cards here because it looks like at some point I'll get the thing. Definitely a heavier reliance on rockets at this point. No doubt. Don't know why I'm using that. This is kind of an awkward little battle here because I'm just hopping over fences. See if I can time this right. Yeah, during that brief glimpse, you can't actually shoot. Thought it might be a little a nice little tips and tricks. Actually, that's perfect because now those big guys are coming in. No, there was still more. Gotcha. Okay, getting close. See anything in here? No, not really. Okay, let's go over to the side. We could use a few things here and there. Perhaps more shotgun would help. I like myself and my shoddy. Yep. And explosives. I definitely want my explosives. Okay, now let's go ahead and proceed on up. Alright, guys coming down here. It's all like clockwork. Nice ammo packs.
I should probably put a special bind on my shift key for it to automatically shoot a rocket. Because my shift key uh, goes straight to my uh, grenade launcher, specifically to my stake gun. So I might have to alter that. See, that's what I'm talking about. I actually don't know if the blast radius is different when you use either grenade launcher or rocket launcher because it uses the same ammo type. I don't know. It, it, it behaves a little bit different. I mean, if you ever just need an explosive to like shoot in an arc, I guess that's the only reason you want to do that. Okay, let's just go zap zap. Zappity zap zap. I'm never gonna stop saying that. This also has been dragging on for quite some time. But I'm okay with that. Okay, your soul appeared over there instead. Alright, perhaps now we can see what you have lying in wait right here, which is more ammo. I love that. And pop. And you as well. He was just standing there doing a dance. I felt kind of rude doing that. Well, before we head on over to the exit, side passage now just opened up. Making this our last secret. So we got everything except for armor. I mean, that's pretty much the requirement to get the tarot card anyway, so that'll be our exception. All right, all's right as rain. Let's uh, head on out. Oh. <laughs> oh. Dick move. <laughs> Hi there, hulks. You're a bunch of hulks. All right, let me see if I can try to do that one. Ah, so that's probably what the trick was. You just have to hold down right click and then left click. We might as well go ahead and spam it on those guys. Yep. So they actually did do a bunch of damage, so it's good to hear. Okay, now we got everything, minus the armor, of course. And we got ourselves Vitality. Increasing base health to 150. Now I wanna say that's a key difference between increasing initial health to 150 instead of uh, increased base health. Cause I'm guessing that the initial health, it just, you know, gives, let's say a buff. Whereas so this one is that, you know, uh, normally the cap is like um, 150 if your base health was at a 100. But when you're at 150, that means that your, you know, over buff cap is like, was it 300, I guess? I know that that's, that's the major difference for this here. All right. So, uh, do I want to go ahead and swap up, uh, for that? Yeah, we might as well. I'm okay with that. All right. So with that, uh, next level is going to be, uh, Babel, pretty much like tower of Babel. I mean, it's going to be a tower. You just, you wait. And, uh. Yeah, the objective is this time is to get all ammo. Okay, then. <laughs> well, with that, everyone, that's it for Painkiller. I shall see you guys next time. <laughs>